We had gone to follow up on some finds that had been made by seismic geologists, obviously out looking for oil. Um, and what they'd come across was this uh, basic rock outcrop that had bones in it. As it turns out, the bones and the rock outcrop represent a 72 million year old beach. So what we found is, is the, the, a bit of a tail. It's about that long. Um, but the original animal is about 20 metres long, and it's just these series of, of vertebrae, but they're very, very distinctive. Um, and we can actually identify what type of dinosaur they are. Alongside them are a few teeth, and the teeth come from a carnivore. Um, and this is important because the Middle East, the, the Arabian subcontinent, is virtually unknown for dinosaurs. What's known up till now, you could fit in a shoebox. What we've got here are actually identifiable pieces. So we can say we've got a giant herbivore called a titanosaur, um, which is a big brontosaurus-like animal, um, and a, a carnivore, uh, which is about six metres long, called an abelosaurid. And these are quite distinctive carnivorous dinosaurs. They look a little bit like your classic T-Rex. But um, they're, they're very important because they come from continents like uh, Africa, South America, and places like Madagascar. And during the age of dinosaurs, these land masses were all joined together and formed Gondwana. This is the, the giant super southern continent. And these are, are sort of remnants of this. So these are animals that lived at this sort of, in this sort of supercontinental land mass that was then breaking up at this point in time. What we know about titanosaurs is they lived in groups. Uh, and they had at least some sort of herd structure with big individuals and smaller individuals. Perhaps they, you know, the idea is that a herd structure will protect um, because there's more of them. Mm. And if you have large numbers of 80 ton you know, dinosaurs, they're not going to be messed with by carnivores. And this is the idea. Um, titanosaurs are also interesting because they are both the largest animals ever to have lived. Um, some titanosaurs are 40 meters long, perhaps up to 100 tons, absolutely enormous. Um, and they're also the last of their kind. So titanosaurs are the very last of these sort of brontosaurus-like dinosaurs, and they go right up to the very end of the age of dinosaurs. Um, and the Saudi fossils are within uh, you know, a few million years of when the, the Mesozoic came to a close, and all these things disappeared. So there's an interesting story in there that, that we're trying to tease out by looking for sites that are perhaps a little bit younger and even go across this sort of time frame. I mean, this discovery is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, all we've done is find the first fragments. There's a whole subcontinent to look through. Um, and the story of Arabia is quite interesting. The reason why dinosaurs are so rare there is simply because it's underwater. Um, for most of its history, it's not been a desert, it's been the bottom of the ocean. Uh, and so you have kind of this uh, very old piece of, of the Earth's crust, which is the Hejaz region, the up, upland region, and then marine sediments just drape around it like curtains. And you can literally walk through time from you know, the, the beginnings of the age of dinosaurs and even older, all the way through till relatively modern uh, 50 million years or less and then it suddenly becomes terrestrial and you start to get elephants and hyenas and all this type of thing. Um, so it's, you know, it's an amazing place to explore and uh, the basic thing is there's so much out there that we just don't know and there's a whole big place to look so it's quite, quite exciting. Hopefully, certainly the future will, will yield more discoveries.